All right. Oh. So today we will be learning solving one step equations, right? That's our learning target for today. So when we solve a one step equation, we first have to know what does it mean to solve? Any ideas? What does it mean to solve? Solution. Find the solution. Very good. So if we solve, we need to find a solution or the value that makes the equation true. For example, we have x minus 3 equals 12. Also, you could do that in your head, right? Some number, take away 3, gives me 12. So what number would that be? 15. 15. So we know right away x would be 15. If we want to solve this using algebra, we say, okay, if we had a number and we subtracted 3 from it, how would I work backwards to get to this number I started with? 3 plus 12. We would add 3, right? We need the inverse. The inverse operation of subtraction is addition. So if I have a number and I took away 3, and that gave me 12, well, if I add the 3 back, add the 3 back, I get the original number. So x has to be 15. Okay, so we always do the inverse. So if here we subtract 3, the inverse is to add 3. Very good. What if it's addition? You subtract. We would subtract. So the inverse of addition is subtraction. So x would be, oops, Robert said 6 and I put 6. My bad. So there you go. Questions on that? No. No? Good. What if it was multiplication? <coughs> if it's multiplication, the inverse of multiplication is division. division. So we would divide. X equals 5. We always do the inverse. That's a big secret. So since this was multiplication, we do the inverse, which is divide. So if the problem is a multiplication problem, 4 times x, the inverse is division, so we divide by the 4. And what's the last operation we need to check? Divide. Divide. What if it was a division problem? Multiply. Doing a fraction of If it's a division, you multiply. We multiply the inverse of division, since this is a division problem, we would multiply. So a number divided by 3 is 6. What number would that be before the 6? We would multiply. So x would be 18. Questions? So what's the big secret? Operation. You always do the inverse operation. That's it. <laughs> 